Hello guys, Luna here and welcome to this quarry guide where I'm going over how to get everyone to survive and get the achievement and trophy for that in-game. Through each chapter you will have a dozen or so decisions to make and making the wrong one can ultimately result in the death of your character, whether that's immediately or in future chapters. So follow this guide carefully as a single mistake can result in missing the achievement. I do recommend watching the video first so you know where exactly to go and where these choices are, but if you don't want to see too many spoilers Spoilers, then you can just skip to the part where you need to know the answer. In this video then we will go over the prologue with Laura and Max. At the very start in the car there are some QTE events. The first one is to press up on the joystick. Yeah, honey, nice catch. Thank you. When asked you can pick the map. What is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but oh! And finally, you can press right on the joystick for the final one. After exiting the car, open the trunk and you can press A or X to snoop. Laura finds a, re a rejection layer here and after you talk with Max you can interact with the marker at the bottom edge of the screen to look into the woods and then you will be asked again when talking to Max a choice of two options. You can choose compliant and hurry up. Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second okay I'm almost done. Max, hurry up! When in the woods, there are a bunch of collectibles that we can find here. So take the left path around the rock to pick up the tarot card number one. From here, you can go to the next tree on the right and you can see the first freak show fire clue. Next, go right, then go left, and inside there is a chest with the freak show fire clue number two. Lastly, turn right, and at the end of the side path, there is the Freak Show Fire Clue number three. What the hell? Once you've collected the collectibles and you just continue walking this path, there is a cutscene, and there will be two more QTE events for you to use. And when they pop up, you have to press down on the joystick and then up on the joystick. Next, when speaking with the cop called Travis, there will be a bunch of different answers that you have to pick. For the answers, pick honest, something jumped out. We, um, uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and... Honest, it was dark. Uh, I'm sorry, it was, it was so dark and it happened so fast and... Friendly, we're heading to camp. We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. Where I knew. Counselors. Compliant, we'll head to the motel. Okay, fine. Yeah, we'll head to the motel. Understood. And relieved, this guy was weird. That guy was giving me 
major weirdo. The dude needed like at least a dozen shots. Oh my god, I know. What was that fucking thing? I Did know. you see was, that? Was it blood? Once you're at the camp, after a cutscene, go down the stairs. After Max gets in the car, the headlights will point to a bunker that's below the lodge. And after all the cutscenes, you have a choice to pick a weapon, take the wrench. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay, so... And when asked, choose the option, confident, yeah, saw it online. Saw it online. Inside the bunker you will get another collectible, but it's not missable as you will pick it up as part of the cutscenes. Next, after Max gets attacked, choose to help him. Yes. Help. I think I'm bleeding a lot. Okay, so that is it for the guide on the prologue choices. Like and subscribe for more guides on the game. Up next will be all the survival choices for chapter one. So I will see you in the next video.